welcome back to another skincare review. So today we are doing the Burt's Bees Calming Toner with Witch Hazel and Rose, which you may remember I already did the one with aloe that was for sensitive skin. I wasn't that wowed with that one because despite it being aloe, which my skin normally likes, despite it being for sensitive skin, which I thought would do well with me, that one broke me out like every time I used it. So I mean, I kind of hate used it till I was gone. So I was hopeful that this one would be better and thank god it is. This is like a night and day difference between the two. So, pamper and nourish your skin. It's alcohol-free, 98.8% natural origin, with nutrient-rich botanicals. It's 12 fluid ounces, which is a pretty decent size. This is $10 for this bottle, which, I mean, ouch, but at the same time, I've seen worse. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's not that bad, honestly. I mean, it could be so much worse. So, treat your skin to a spa day with pampering rose and refreshing... Witch Hazel, our gentle alcohol-free formula sweeps away excess oil and impurities, tones and nourishes skin, and balances pH levels for serene, healthy-looking skin. And the directions are, as you would figure, apply with a cotton ball or pad after cleansing to tone, soothe and nourish skin, follow up with your favorite Burt's Bees moisturizer, can be used morning or night whenever your skin needs a quick refresh. So it's ingredients made from nature... Leaping Bunny certified, no animal testing, responsible sourcing, and a recyclable bottle. And the ingredients on this are water, glycerin, witch hazel water, propanediol, rose flower extract, aloe leaf juice, sodium, cocoil, glutamate, citric acid, glycerol caprolate, polyglycerol 6 oleate, sodium surfactant, sodium PCA, Caprolil slash capril glucoside, fragrance, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and phenoxyethanol. So, first things first, it does have like that lovely rose scent to it that like you imagine it would. So, no complaints there. I love that, but if you don't like the scent of roses, you probably won't want this one. I can't imagine you would buy it if you didn't like roses, but rose water is like so nice for the skin. I'm sure there's some people whose skin doesn't jibe with it, but mine very much does. So this one, I'm just like, yes, it feels so nice going on. It's so soothing. It's so refreshing. I don't even keep this in my skincare fridge, and it just has, like, almost a natural cooling effect, which is surprising given the lack of alcohol in it. And even after just cleansing my skin... Look at all the crap that it cleans away. I literally just freaking washed my face. And it still does away with that much impurities. Yeah, I like to do my shoulders too while I'm at it, so don't mind me looking awkward. But I do them too since they're acne prone. And it does help. As silly as it sounds, it does help hitting them with the toner each day while I'm doing the rest of my face. So Anyway, that is all there is to it for using this toner. But as you can see, it gives like a natural, lovely glow to the skin. Uh, it does leave behind a very, very slightly sticky feel. Nothing terrible, and like as soon as your moisturizer goes on over it, that goes away. But it's so nice, and your skin feels so good and so hydrated after you use it. It just, it's like a night and day difference. Like, I had to set this up so there was like a pause between when I washed my face and when I toned it. And in that amount of time, my face felt a little bit tight from cleansing it and not toning right after, but it already feels like 100% better just since doing that while on camera. Like I said, night and day difference, if, especially if you are prone to that feeling, this will help you. And it helps brighten the skin, it helps soothe it, it just, it does so many nice things. I freaking love this stuff and I cannot recommend it enough and it is night and day difference between this and that freaking aloe one that I just was not about. This one will definitely be a repurchase in the future. I like this a lot. I would even venture to say I like it almost as much as my beloved e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Toner, and that is like my number one. And this is vying for that position, so that is saying a lot. Like, I, it might be tied with it for fave now. Yeah, it's like that, so <laughs> anyway. Yeah, those are my thoughts on it. Definitely recommend it. I think it's good stuff. I think you'll like it too. So 
Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.